Hi guys, um, I'm Leo. So I'm making this video as an intro for, um, for the last BK club kind of thing group or whatever we call it. Uh, it's kind of confusing. Yeah, I don't know if it was mentioned before in the other videos. Uh, it's there's a group for Facebook. Uh, we sent invites to people of the community or gay friendly. Um, so a little about me, since we're getting to know each other, let's make it about me. Uh, I like the color blue. Uh, my hair was supposed to be blue, and now it's green, yellowish kind of thing. The dye has dye. Um, I'm a gamer, first of all. Yeah, you don't see that very much on the gay community, or the bisexual for that matter. Um, I don't believe in tags of homosexuality, bisexuality, or even straight people. Uh, I don't like to use those terms. Um, I do use it for the inner people that do believe in the tags. After all, in the past, tags didn't exist anyway. Um, sorry about the bait pep. I don't know the quality of the video. So, don't say anything about it. Um, I'm not a really friendly person, though I'm a little bit of, you could say, high class. Uh, I tag myself, and we're gonna use labels. I myself call, like, I say I'm myself, I'm a homo bisexual, because I like, I get attracted to both, though I'm more attracted to guys. Um, no, for the guys, I'm not single, and for those three girls, maybe watching the video, no, uh, I'm not looking for anyone right now. Uh, so what else? I don't know. Uh, intro about me, I don't know my, I don't know about myself actually. I don't know, I'm friendly. I have many friends. Um. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, whatever you want to guys want to know about me, I might post my Facebook down below the video. Um, you can subscribe. Oh yeah, I'm a Puerto Rican. I live in Puerto Rico since I was born. Uh, my English might not be very well. Um, I try my best. Thank you. I've never been to the States. Uh, I only went out to San Tomas. St. Thomas or whatever it's called, the country or the island or whatever. Um, just I learned my English from movies, games, music, Power Rangers. Yeah, gayest show ever, but I still love it. Uh, so anyway, um, I think I'm talking too much. Maybe well, let's make it about myself, like I said. Um, so I'm supposed to make an like tell them all talk about what was it again? Yeah. I always forget what I'm supposed to be yeah, I'm short minded sometimes, like I lose myself in my mind. I keep talking and I'll lose myself and then again I get lost because I talk too much. I think you get me. Um <laughs> So I'm supposed to talk about how I came out. Uh if we can call it that. Um, so let's start by the beginning, or the end, or just in the middle, I don't know, let me just, okay, so since I was little, my mom always told me that if I came out gay, I don't know why she even would think that, uh, she would still like me because I was her son, she would still love me anyway, um, I always wonder why she used to say that, um, I mean, she's my mom. You won't want your mom telling you that, actually. It feels kind of awkward. Uh, even if you don't know what you actually are. So, when I grew up, I just I used to like guys. I used to think I was gay. Um, it got to the point that I couldn't hold the secret anymore. Um, so when I went to another town and when I moved with my mother, because we used to move a lot when I was a child, and we still do though, though I live with one of my partners right now. Um, 
So, I decided to come out because I was like in this really weird kind of depression and I just lost myself and I was like, you know what, I don't want to keep making friendships to lose them, so I'm going to make everyone hate me because I like guys. So I started telling everyone at school, hey yo, yeah, I like guys. And for some reason, I just made more friends than I wanted. <laughs> Funny. Um, so then at my mom's work, uh, I had that, this kind of friendship, if you call it like that, if you want to call it like that. Um, as to, um, this woman that used to work with my mom, I don't know, we were having this conversation, I just told her, yeah, I like guys, uh, but I don't want my mom to know, not because of the fact that she'll hate me for it, but because she'll ask me stuff that is not of her business, even if I'm a minor, so, for some reason, um, she got jealous because his, uh, her boyfriend uh, used to talk to my mom and she was like this big of a jealousy bitch that she had to scream at everyone that came around him and well she decided to call my mom thanks to that jealousy and tell her that she will um, if anything happened to me uh, my mom would be the one that would be guilty for it because she didn't know how to take care of me why she said that, I don't know, like, whatever, so, my mom started crying, she told me that when she came out to the home, uh, I was staying, by the time, because I was staying with my godmother, uh, she would actually talk to me about a problem I had, so fine, like, I, uh, I hope it's not what I know it is, so, whatever, so my godmother sat down to me, talked to me, and actually asked me what was wrong. So I don't know why I felt more comfortable to talk about her, but maybe because she was open minded. So I told her, yo, well, I like guys. And she's like, oh, if it's that, that's not a problem. That's like, as long as you don't touch my kids, I'm like, yeah, hell no. I don't like cleaning people, it's not my stuff. They're just children. And actually, during the, like, that time that you still pee on your pants so I'm not touching that kind of people right now you know I'm starting to clean myself to help clean other uh, yeah by the way I'm 20 years old turning 21 on July 31 uh, so back of the story so my mother came one weekend and she I pulled me to, a, to a one of the rooms in the house and she confronted me about it hey tell me what is wrong with you uh, that if we can uh, help I don't know find you help we will and in my head I was like almost crying because it hurting me that I hear that from her I thought she knew already but no she was just trying to guess what was the problem because the fucking bitch didn't tell him didn't tell her what was the problem and my mom was scared. Maybe my mom thought I was on drugs or something, which I have never done that. Um, so I started crying like fuck, and cause I was I was like thinking, I don't need help. I know what I like. This is not something that you know you can just cure it, cause there's no cure for homosexuality or anything at all. So, then, my godmother came to the room, and she said, Oh, Leo, if you don't tell your mother, uh, I'm going to tell her. And I wanted to go out of the room, and my, mother, my godmother pushed me back to the freaking bed, and I couldn't leave. So, all I did was I had this jacket, and I like, went re directly into the bed, my face like, I covered my face with everything was on the bed, and my godmother told her yeah, he likes guys. I'm always like, like crying out loud, and she said, "Oh, it was only that." Uh, I have to wonder that since little that if he was gay, I wouldn't mind, and I would still love him. 
and I, my face was still covered. I was like, it's not because of that. And then she started asking me, so have like, have you gone out with guys? I'm like, yes, mother. Have you actually slept with guys? And I was thinking, that's not even a question to make to your own son. Like, it's none of your business. This is stuff I talk with my friends. My best friends, not with my mother or father for that matter. Like, none of my family I talk this with. It's none of your business. So then I was like, yes, mom. I did have sex. Long time ago. At 11 years old, I lost my virginity. Why, you ask? And then she made the, like, the specific question I knew my mother was gonna ask, that's why I never told her about my orientation. So uh, she asked me the specific question, with who? And I was like, mom, I'm not even gonna go to the point, I'm not gonna tell you that, it's my business. Um, I'm not gonna tell you, this is not like stuff I don't talk with you, Like, it's not normal to be talking with my mother like this. <laughs> And then she went out to the closet. She brought like two zip locks, uh, like this big, uh, like a bag full of condoms, like completely full, like two bags. And she dropped them like right next, like right next to me. And I picked them up. And I was like, Mom, what is this for? Well, just like to help protect you, like you know the diseases that are out there. And I was like, Mom, but please, you don't go out giving me condoms like out of nowhere. <laughs> You know, you just, you just know I like guys, and, and that I just had sex with guys before, uh, without protection, of course. And you just come out, I don't know, where you give me condoms, and you know, like, that's not natural for me. Like, it's not normal, it's just feel awkward. And, oh, well, that's basically it. So, my mom knows since then I like guys. Yeah, we don't touch this subject much, because, you know, any mother and any father will actually like... To have their sons being straight, thanks to religious beliefs, uh, which is stupid. <sighs> That's another topic I'm gonna talk to you about. Like, after all the people make the introduction, I'm gonna talk to the owner of the group. I'm gonna talk her. I wanna touch the topic about religion and homosexuality because it's actually quite fascinating. Because the, the beliefs are really out of topics to the truth. So anyway back to what I was talking about so my mom did accept me really like she didn't give me mine at all basically my whole family knows some of my family actually judged me um it was easier for me because I'm really open-minded to stuff um I don't know what people say about me I don't really like, care what they think of me um, I actually do what I don't do in public. It's like if there's kids around, I don't kiss my partner. I don't, I don't grab hands with my partner because, like, you know, being homosexual or bisexual, or being straight is not something you like are born with or actually you learn. It's something that you later on in life realize that that's what you actually like. I don't believe a kid is like is born gay because you don't go out like one day and be like, Mom, hey, I'm gay, I'm straight, yeah, that's what I like. No, you don't you're not born like that. You never you you don't actually learn how to be gay. There's something you actually learn to like in time, like, yeah, I taste it, I like it. It's something like that. It's something that you grow to actually accept of yourself. That's at least what I believe. That's not what actually the scientists say. Well, fuck scientists, right? Whatever. I tend to curse a lot, just in case. Uh, so, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna link my Facebook down <coughs> uh, in the description of the video. Uh, I have Kick, I have Lion apps for my cell phone. Um, I'm gonna put them down there. Uh, I don't know what else I have. Facebook, don't send me friend request. Just, um, what I'm gonna do is, I have a subscribe button for Facebook. Just subscribe because friends is just more for people I know because that's supposed Facebook is supposed to be for that. Um, just to tell the truth, 
on Facebook, I mostly talk Spanish because that's my like native language. Um, I do speak English, but my posts are most more like mostly in Spanish. So don't judge me because of it. Thank you. Um, yeah. By the way, this right here you see, yeah. Um, I like this kind of paintings. Don't judge me because of it either. Thank you. Um, yeah, I have a little bit more, but that would be considered poor maybe. I don't want Facebook banning me from, I mean, Facebook, YouTube banning me from the making videos or something like that. Because they're kind of assholes in, in YouTube, you know. Uh, don't tell them I said that. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, let me just cover this a little bit more. Thank you. So, keep watching the videos. Notice we have a little bit of views. Maybe we'll grow in time. Yeah, our video sucks because we just made this recently. We're not like Ray William Johnson or Tabastius or those people that would actually make great videos. Yo, uh, they have the technology for it. We're just teenagers. Uh, we're still studying. To the people that don't know, that's why our actually videos are not a little bit creative. Um, we will try. Uh, to like make videos like better videos later on I don't know we'll find a way uh, be a little bit more creative oh uh, I give the idea uh, the idea we're gonna use ovo maybe even though we're not gonna benefit from it um we're gonna give publicity to ovo uh, make up like build a little bit of debates maybe kind of like in the news where a lot of people gather out since most of our videos, we make it ourselves. We post it on YouTube channel. Um, so we're gonna deal with it. We're gonna make better videos. I promise. Um. So I think that's it. I don't want to make a boring video. It already is basically. And since I'm not gonna fix this video, because I don't have the tools for it. Uh, if you know any tools I can use to fix videos and make them better. You can please post it. No, no, it's not. Like you can no. Please post it, cause we need help. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'll try to make more interesting videos later on. So without further ado, I say goodbye.